One of the criticisms that you hear from pure mobile creative directors is, I can't get the attention of the senior creative director because it's much more fun to do TV spots and the like and designing yeah. stuff on mobile. Yeah. It's not as much fun, yeah. there's, not as, there's no craft service, there's no yeah. award shows and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and I think one of the reasons why our colleagues here at Mobileomics wanted you to be here because it to speak to that because you're not just um, limited to being a creative director for mobile. You are a senior creative director and have yeah. to look across everything. Talk a little bit about that yeah, because, I, I, because I mean, that's a, that is a, a very significant, consistent criticism of what's holding creative back for mobile. Yeah, I I think it's true. So you know, you won't see the word mobile or innovation or digital in my title, nor do I choose for it to ever be there because I don't honestly believe that you can break creativity into these little buckets of, of things. It, you know, and it's true that at the core of that is this challenge of repurposing, which is no client can afford to create, you know, um, a thousand different pieces of original content for each one of those spots. But the question is, how do you create content that's valuable in each one of those spots um, without trying to jam everything into that, you know, four-inch screen? At the core of that is thinking about how things work together. So, you know, I, I showed a, a, a number of examples today. Those all, in some way, have used mobile display advertising, but they didn't try to put the whole experience there. They used that as the way to get people to the experience. The same could be true uh, for video, which is, it doesn't have to be the same video content that somebody is consuming on YouTube that they happen to be consuming on a mobile device, though sometimes it can be, but it could be bite-sized versions of that that drive you to the longer version, and I think once you look at it like that, it becomes freeing. Because you don't, you're not trying to put, as I started today, you're not trying to put 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag on a four inch screen. You're trying to think about how each media opportunity, each time you interact with a consumer, is an opportunity to get them into the larger experience. I mean, one of the examples of that, just a small example, is the Zyrtec Allergy Cast, which I showed today. So that app has a half a million users who spend 15 minutes a month with it. At the core of that is not to stop there, but is to build to more users. And you don't do that through bringing the whole experience into a banner. It's finding contextual ways to remind them that they might need this. So you go into a weather.com or another weather related thing and you remind somebody that it's a day that knowing the pollen count and knowing what they're allergic to might help and, and then get them to download the app for the ritual experience, as opposed to trying to bring the whole experience in that uh, as IAD was trying to originally do. So now it's not about millennials. Our next frontier is Generation Z. Yeah. 20 and under yeah. have no frame of reference of analog. Yeah. My nine-year-old asked me, Dad, what's a turntable? You know. Yeah. So what do we do there? Because mobile is, as Tom Daly said earlier today, think about mobile only. Yeah. I, I think of the key of, uh, to that is that the content has to be as important as the context. And you think the twist for me is a world where we're living in a more of a content first mobile uh, environment where it's being pushed to us, where the expectation is that we're not gonna have to go into apps, that we're not gonna have to dive into mobile websites, that we're gonna get the content that we need here at the moment that we need it, that it's gonna come on our home screens and let us know. And, and that in the world of the sort of Snapchat mentality of what would be disposable content, becomes the next frontier for, uh, I think, the next generation of sort of mobile only users. So going back to the cardinal rule of content is, yeah. it should be good. Yes. 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 And then it'll find its way on the right screen. That's right. I mean, and it's truly important for beacons. There, there was nothing fundamentally wrong about QR codes. It was a perfectly quick way to get to things. But there was crap on the other end of it or you got driven from a QR code to a site that wasn't even mobile optimized. So people just stopped using them. It's like, I'm not gonna get burned again. If the content that we create on the other end of these beacons is valuable, if it's a gift that we give to them in the context of that, then people will use that technology in droves um, in the same way that they're obsessed with Snapchat and the sort of disposable nature of that content.